Hey guys, welcome back to the C++ series, C++ for Beginners series. In this video, we're going to be seeing the structure of a C++ code. Now, the structure of the C++ code is exactly or 90% same to the structure of a C program code, in which it has a main function where the execution starts, header files, preprocessor directives, and a return statement if necessary. I'll put a link to that video in the description so you guys can check it out. Let me create a C++ file. Now a unique thing in C++ is there's a structure called class. You can see the color change when I type class. If I type something else, the color changes back which means I done it correctly. So dog, as I gave an example in the previous video. And it has some unique words such as private, public, and protected. It also has keywords like inline, virtual, and friend, try, catch, and throw. We will see the use of each and every one of these keywords when we get to it in future videos. Now let's see about the structure of a C++ code. The structure of a C++ code is 90% similar to the structure of a C program code. We have the preprocessor directive or the hash include, which includes libraries or files within your system. Now this IO stream has input output stream. So it has definitions, methods, variables, constants, etc, etc. And you need to include this to write C out instead. C out is similar to printf in C++, but it has much more functionality. And another thing we have is using namespace std. Now what is a namespace? A namespace is a block of code. You can make it yourself or STD is a standard block of code which is present inside your system. And it has things like Cout, ENDL, and other things. M using namespace STD enables us to use Cout in this form. If we don't have it, we have to do it like this. Now don't get confused, we'll get to what these colons are and see out these arrow marks in future videos. Next is the main function where execution starts and everything in the main function is run. So this program basically prints high and returns a zero upon completion or success. So let's save it. And you can see the output, hi. I hope you understood what I explained in this video and I'll see you in the next video.